I'm Kevin, this is Nikki, where the co-founders of Centered Meditation, helping thousands of people connect to their presence, align with their purpose, and access their potential. Remember during the height of the COVID-19 outbreak, how people were in the full throes of panic buying. Supermarket shelves were empty, they were fighting over toilet paper, and they couldn't draw away from the news. They were stuck in what we call the survive mindset. Underpinning the survive mindset is not only feeling fear, which is understandable and expected, but being driven by it, identified with it. Signs that someone is stuck in this mindset is when they have feelings of powerlessness or loss of control. Panicked thoughts and behaviors. Scarcity appears to be everywhere. Denial or even pretending like the threat doesn't exist. Anxiousness, and the list goes on. And inside of this mindset, all of those appear to be perfectly rational. The good news is, is that there is another mindset that we can shift ourselves into, the thrive mindset. Underpinning the thrive mindset is when we use fear to our advantage rather than being used by it. And signs that you've successfully shifted into this thrive mindset include fear becoming an opportunity rather than a threat. There's a sense of calm amongst the storm. Abundance prevails over scarcity. You have feelings of care and compassion. You feel excited to step out of your comfort zone. And you naturally are driven to take leadership. Now, how do you shift from survive to thrive? Well, the next time you're faced with a threat, fear, or uncertainty, rather than trying to control or ignore your thoughts and feelings, lean into them, feel them for what they are, sensations in the body and electrochemical impulses in the brain. And then from a place of relative calm, take a step back and examine the situation for what it is, identifying and distinguishing the physical threat from the social psychological threat, and then asking yourself, what novel responses could I have to this situation? 